So, this footage is just absurdly obvious in the clouds behind the sun. Um, I've sped it up. I've got it at 4x speed uh, just to make this more palatable. You really don't need to see it in real time. Um, I can put up uh, an unedited version of this if, if people like. Uh, it's a little bit easier to watch at this speed because uh, it's it's a little over 13 minutes of footage right here. Um, so right now when the, when the sun's up high it's a lot brighter and overpowering and as it gets lower it gets dimmer um, it's a lot easier to focus in on and see but I could see already that it was it was getting into the clouds and I wanted to capture this you'll see as it descends uh, the clarity picks up so you're gonna see the clouds sort of wrapping around the edges of the Sun right here I mean Sun is a ball uh, if that was a ball floating in water that's like the water lapping up over the edges of it you can see how the Sun is is really dissecting the clouds right there It's not just overpowering um, because of the brightness. You can see the, the tentacles of clouds reaching into the, the sun ball. You can see the hot spot that it's creating on a layer of clouds just beneath it there. And the sun's not a big fiery nuclear furnace. A lot of people say, but it would heat up the clouds and it would burn them up it doesn't it's not what we were told look around the edges where you, you see you know clouds and then you see the sun travel over it that means the cloud is behind the sun This one's really obvious. Look at that. The one below it. Goodbye. And you'll see once the sun gets past, there's the cloud again. All right, so let's have a little fun with this clip. And uh, here you can see the clouds behind the sun there. Move it backwards. Oh, look at it go across those clouds. And up into those clouds, clouds in front, clouds behind. Look at that. Do you see this? I'm just going to take this back and forth a few times here. Sun's not obscuring the clouds. It's in front of them right there. I mean, how how obvious does it get? Clouds are behind the sun.
So while people are, seem to be grasping that there can be clouds behind the sun, um, birds behind the sun seems to be troubling to a lot of people. I'm going to keep putting up all the footage that I get. I know it's hard to understand. We've been taught that it's a big fiery nuclear fusion ball, um, but it's not. So I'll keep putting this up. Eventually you'll see, understand. 